When you see that field of blue, you know it can be only one place in the world. Boise, Idaho, on the campus of Boise State and home to the fabled giant killers, the Boise State Broncos. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Fresno State Bulldogs, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Boise State Broncos. They go to the ground. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Oh, how did you make that move? And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bronco. And how about the job by this offense? This is not a scrub defense. This is a top 10 defense in college football. You got to take points whenever you can get them. Nice job putting a drive together, putting six on the board. No matter how it looks, you just got to keep fighting with this ball. Really, really good talking with coaches this week, and he gets his first sack. Listen, guys, I'm a pass rusher. Everybody remembers their first sack. And now they've lost the ball. They get him for a safety. He tried with everything to scoop it up and get it out of the end zone, but they were there to stop him. Yeah, and sometimes you get confused and you get lost when you're out on the field, but not that far. And, and I just, I don't know how to explain this. I would love to give you words and, and break this down and be like, this is what he was thinking. I feel And what a nice play by the DB. You have to understand, that wide receiver gets that ball that quick. Lost one deep down the right side. And that pass is intercepted. Bringing it back. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. The teams that play cover one at an elite level have an elite guy in the middle of the field that he's playing zone, everybody else playing man, and he can cover so much ground. You watch him run, he breaks on the football when he needs to, goes and makes the big interception. something the defense has got to find a way to create some momentum whatever they're doing right now it's not working so you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about they'll try to blast their way in into the end zone he goes touchdown Broncos push up front by this offensive line. Everyone playing in unison, driving out of their stance, working into the second level, hats on hats, creating a lane for that running back. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run. Still running up the 40. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. Yeah, I like this. I like the press. It is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing. On third down, he drops to throw. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Touchdown, Fresno State! What a grab and go for the score. And listen, find your matchups you like, and you can see. You got your speedster out wide. You like the matchup. He sees it, puts some air underneath that thing, and he outruns the DB. He's got no shot. Runs underneath it and then walks his way into the end zone for six. They know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. 
They're throwing for it on fourth down. Holds it in the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. And this offense gets another passing touchdown. I tell you what, week one, this connection worked. Week two, this connection working again. I tell you what, if I'm a defense, I'm going to start focusing in on that guy because they want to find him and make big plays. take a break to let him be checked out big catches big plays tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys he's looking to throw and he's got it for a touchdown so hold on a second they're not dead yet in fact they're suddenly feeling much better. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another